All right, AJT fam, while we patiently wait for this to hit our first target at 266.50, uh, we'll go ahead and do a recap of our morning. Uh, since you know we, we had a pretty strong morning on NVIDIA, you know, earnings season doesn't just bring out earnings. It actually um, wakes up everything you know we, we we get a lot of volatility a lot of volume in the market so everything benefits from earnings season um, so we didn't have any really good looks other than Spotify but Spotify set up a little bit later than Nvidia Nvidia I got pre-market and so I ended up locking in with it um, first target hit second target and what I normally like to do is add back. You know, once if we get an aggressive entry pre market, once we take out the five minute open range high, I like to add back. And so I added back, got a base hit on this, got stopped out on a pullback to break even. It broke out again. I got back in, um, got another base hit. And then I decided to um, reverse it, looking for a move back to VWAP here. So I did take profit here and then was looking for a dip to VWAP, but then it bounced and stopped me out at break even. Now we're pulling back, looking like we're going to hit, you know, VWAP. So, but it's not a big enough move for me to trade this. So... You know, this is a, a beautiful morning. Okay, just beautiful morning, beautiful trades on NVIDIA. No over trading. If the reversal gave me, you know, if the reversal had worked out, um, you know, it would have given us another pretty good move. It still is probably going to get there. Still will probably get there. But once I stopped out, there's not a big enough window here for it to make sense for me to take this trade so unfortunately we got stopped out on the bounce if we didn't I would still be in it looking for the move but like I said at this point it's just not enough meat on the bone for me to keep going um, looks like Tesla hit our first target it did um, so the short on Tesla I was not going to short this, even though this is the the um, opening range low right here. This is the five minute opening range low. No way I'm going to short into into that. I better change this because if I forget and I come back to this target, I think this is the linear regression channel. And I don't want to do that. So, what this is, five minute open range low, no way I'm going to short into that. So, I waited for a confirmation. Here's the first close below the level. It didn't confirm. No candle took out the low. So, we bounced. Rejected again. Pulled back. This candle closed below it. This candle confirmed it. And so, that triggered an entry. Um, that's just the simple way I trade and to try to and to help me stay out of false breakouts, false breakdowns is after 10 o'clock I like to wait for confirmation. I let the chart confirm the direction. Now does it work all the time? No, but it'll work 70% of the time and that's all I care about. Um, you're going to have different Entities playing with price, trying to get their position straight. And, you know, it's not going to be perfect. But if you trust the technicals and you let the trade work, most of the time you're going to end up on the, on the winning side, on the profitable side. So, all right, today we are having... Um, 
We are having the first 90 days of trading session today at 1130. So, you know, I will sign off about 11. Go get, you know, get prepared for the session at 1130. And then Thursday is our trader mindset, which is what everybody needs. Everybody needs that. So I did email out, or if I didn't, you will get it. It's scheduled to go out. Um, the email of the new or updated um, community schedule, and I did um, post it on social media. So if you don't see the email, you'll see it there. But that's the new schedule we're going to be going by. All right, so that wraps up our morning. The only thing we're going to be waiting on now is Tesla. I do not plan to add on a bounce. Um, do not plan to add because if it bounces, it will likely stop us out and we'll just end up with a base hit. If it doesn't and it keeps going, um, you see where our final target is right here at the linear regression channel and it may not I mean it is a good reversal attempt if it gets all the way down here but it may be mixed in with when we're doing our session so it, it might not be a good opportunity at that time because of what's going on but keep an eye out for that because you know we always look to reverse off of the linear regression channel. Kind of like we did here on NVIDIA. You know, we, we reversed off of the linear regression channel. It still hasn't gone back and taken it out. And it's probably not going to do that. It's just that algos have it. And, you know, they're just trading in a window. Trading in a range. It's what automated trading looks like trading inside a range and we may start to see this on Tesla down here it may start trading in a range you see it tried to sell off again and it got aggressively bought back up you see the wick this is these happen when it aggressively gets bought up off of a, a level of support whether you see it on the chart or not um, the candlesticks are telling you exactly what's happening. All right, so that's going to wrap it up for our morning recap. Um, got some good earnings coming. So be here at 3.30 if you're going to take a break now because we're going to be ready to go.